This film will introduce the basic procedure for bonding a Thordon bearing into a metal housing. The two halves in this demonstration have previously been fully machined and shop blasted and are now being primed prior to the bonding procedure taking place. Both the bronze metal carriers and the bearings are cleaned with a solvent prior to the application of the adhesive. Typical solvents are MEK or isopropyl alcohol or any degreaser that will flash off very readily and not leave a residue. After the parts have been thoroughly cleaned, the edges and all exposed parts where adhesive could drip are taped to aid in cleanup after the bonding procedure. After cleaning, care must be taken not to contaminate either surface. Thordon's adhesive TG75 is a two-part epoxy which needs a dispensing gun to push it out of the cartridges. To mix the adhesive, the adhesive cap is taken off and the two-part epoxy is dispensed into a mixing container. No more than two cartridges at a time should be dispensed into the mixing container. More than two cartridges of adhesive could result in a golf ball size curing of the adhesive due to the exotherm of reaction. The adhesive is now mixed thoroughly. The working time for the adhesive is 45 minutes. The adhesive is applied to the ID of the bronze carrier using a notched trowel. Care is taken to ensure that the entire surface is completely covered with adhesive. Adhesive is next spread to the OD of the bearing. Again, it is applied with a notched trowel and the complete OD of the bearing is covered with the adhesive. With the carrier ID and bearing OD completely coated with adhesive, the bearing is placed inside the bronze shell. Clamps are now applied to various locations to ensure positive fit between the bronze and the bearing. The optimum bond thickness is 0.13 to 0.38 millimeters, 5 to 15 thousandths of an inch. The arc length of the OD of the bearing is normally left slightly larger than the arc length of the ID of the carrier. This is done to allow installation to be complete and not have to match the joint perfectly. The excess bearing material is later trimmed or ground off at the split line. The clamps should be tight enough so that you see a slight oozing at the clamping interface between the bronze and the bearing, but not tight enough so that you squeeze all the adhesive out of the joint. At room temperature, the adhesive will gain 80% of its bond strength in eight hours. No machining of the bearing should take place until after eight hours has passed. Normally, the adhesive is left overnight before machining.